Welcome to C Programming. This is Shaji. In this video, uh, we are going to see one program in which we can see how to convert a binary number into a decimal number. So, in the video, we have seen how to convert a decimal number to binary. This video, we are going to see how to convert it back from binary to decimal. In the binary number system, so we all know there are two symbols, 0 and 1, but in the case of decimal number system, we have 10 symbols in total, including 0. So, let us see the program, how to convert it. So, this is an empty program with a template. Uh, in this program, uh, we have the standard header files, stdio.is and conio.h. These are for the input-output operations and console input-output operations. Prototypes are defined in this function. The usual main, the entry point for the C program. So, here in this program, uh, we are going to use certain variables of integer type d for uh, receiving the value pause for the position and I am going to initialize value of pause as 1 and one more variable for b Okay, variable declaration is done. So, CLR SCR, I can use it now for clearing the screen. CLR SCR, now screen got cleared. And next, I am going to give one printf. Printf. And in the printf, we can give a usual message for the user to input some number. Enter a binary number. So here we are going to receive a binary number and it will be converted into decimal equal and, and we will display it to the it on the screen. Here um, the data type is integer so we can use percentage D as the formatting character and let us save the value to the variable A. So we have to give ampersand D. So, we have received the value from the user and we can for a loop, let it be do loop. Inside the do loop, we can do the procedure to convert. So, b is a variable, b equal to b plus, b is equal to b plus. Uh, the value, the last bit from the the bit from the rightmost position. So, if you want to extract the bit from the rightmost position, we have to uh, do the modulus division operation with the turn. Then we will get the last digit. And one thing more we have to do that is we have to we have to multiply the number with position POS into D. Okay, I will explain this portion by giving an example here. So, POS equal to POS into 2 and D equal to D divided by 10. And at the end of the do, we will be having the while condition. The loop should be executed um, till the value of D is greater than 0. So, up to that, it should execute. Let us, w -S -I -L -E -F. Let us see what is happening in this piece of code. So, this area is just reading a value, echoing a message to enter a binary number and it is going to be stored in the variable uh, d and this is the real uh, block of code let us see what is happening here suppose if you are giving a value 1 1 1 okay. let us put 0 1 suppose this is a binary number we want to convert this binary number into decimal number 
so for that we have to do the operation right from the rightmost side this one into 2 to the power of 0 plus the digit in the second position second LSV position that you have to do 0 into uh, 2 to the power of 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 1 into 2 to the power of 1 into 2 to the power of 2 again in the next position again that is 1 here we have 1 1 into 2 to the power of 2 the logic is very simple here so we will take each bits from the binary number to be converted and we will represent the number in the binary format in a detailed format so the first bit we will take this first bit from the rightmost side and we will multiply the that particular number with the 2 to the power of 0 that is what done here 2 to the power of 0 and the second one we will multiply with 2 to the power of 1 and the third bit we will take and we will multiply with 2 to the power of 2 and of course the third one we have to multiply it by 2 to the power of 3 so 1 into 2 power 3 2 power 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 so that is 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 plus 8 plus here we have 2 power 2 is 2 into 2 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 1 that is 4 plus here we have something that is 2 power 1 2 power 1 is 2 2 into 0 whatever into 0 is 0 again here 2 power 0 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so if you add all those values you will get eight plus four twelve plus one thirteen so this is this is the expected answer for this example so this is the procedure to convert a binary number into decimal number so we are going to represent each and every bit of the binary number into its equivalent binary positional system so each of the bit in each position will be having different values the bit in the leftmost position will be having more value than that of the rightmost position the rightmost position the values are value will be to the, 2 to the power of 0 the second one second from the right it will be 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 4 and so on so this is the logic which we have implemented here so we are taking one by one value so if you add d if you uh, do the modulus division uh, of d to 10 we can extract this one and that one is going to be multiplied with one position is having a value one here so that is position itself so b plus one and pos equal to pos into two so next time pos is going to be one into two that is two and here we are going to divide d by 10 so we will get one turn so this one in the leftmost position will be eliminated and we will be having 101 for the next iteration of this do, do loop so here in this time we are going to separate 0 that 0 is going to be uh, multiplied by pos but this pos is having a value of 2 now for the next instant it is being incremented with it is incremented as 3 so with the pos, pos variable we are to make we are going to make 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 etc 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 
and we are extracting one by one bits from a right list and we are going to multiply it with the post value which is giving the real value for each and every position and finally if you add all these values that is being done here b equal to b plus this value the calculated value so at the end of the loop we will be getting the value here so we can go for a printing print so the value is in b so we can print b uh, the format is percentage d and finally one gets a h to make the output stable for us to see ok this is a program let me try this program there are errors undefined symbol b because i have used semicolon here so i should have used com here ok and all of name some more error statement missing semicolon somewhere yeah after get ch i forgot to put semicolon so this is the screen to enter the value i am going to give one one so one so i am getting some strange value one two seven one two seven five why it is happening so is being divided by 10 here why it is coming wrong so what is the value of b here ok the value of b was not initialized so let me give some initial value as 0 and if i run it now 1 1 1 yeah it is 13 1 1 1 that should be 7 yeah 1 1 1 1 it should be 15 mm, 1 0 1 0 so it is 8 plus 2 10 okay this is a program to convert a decimal number sorry a binary number into its equivalent decimal representation ok please try this program if you face some complication in this area please do the conversion manually and check how it is being done this position is used to give the positional, positional value for each and every number being extracted out from the decimal from the binary number so we are going to flush each bit from the right side and that is being multiplied with its positional value it was added here with the b value with the initial b value so every time it is keep on adding the values in uh, values of each bit and finally here we are going to get the final value of b that is the decimal equivalent of the binary number hope you enjoyed this video please try it out Please type this code and try it by yourself. If you feel any difficulty or if you want any clarification in this program, please free to contact me. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.